Hi everyone, in today's video we decided to start something new, so we will talk about soft bodies, how to create something like a bouncy ball or even a moving liquid in 2D, so let's dive in. Okay, to explain how the soft body can be simul simulated, I created this small simple shape to explain the relationship between the points and how to simulate the soft body. So the general concept is to link the point with each other using the 2D physics, something like the uh, joint 2D, hinge joint 2D or the spring 2D and the distance joint 2D. So each point of those first have a rigid body 2D and a circle collider 2D then we linked each point with the next point let me show you using distance spring as you can see from 1 to 8 1 2 3 to 8 to form the circle shape then for each point, we created three spring joints to link each point with the center point. For example, let's see point one is linked to the center and to a point to the right of it and point to the left of it to shape a triangle that will keep the points balanced. The same thing applied for the rest of the points. So in the end we get something like a mesh itself of joints between the points. So let's test how this works. If you want to simulate a soft, very soft body like Jelly One, we can disable the hinge joints for now. So we got very soft object here, like jelly one. But if you want to keep the structure of a circle, we need to activate the hinge joint. But we need to reset the scene. Of course, here in the hinge joint, the trick is to set using a limit to active to set the upper angle to 15. Then if we click play, we got a tight, bod a tight ball or a tight circle which bounces nicely. So that's the core idea here. Let's move to more complicated cases. Okay, we have this low polygon circle. We wanted to give this soft body to a sprites, but since it's not possible because it doesn't have a mesh. So we wanted to experiment this on a 3D mesh, but in two dimensions. So Lena created for me this circle, which contains, let's see how many vertices. This soft ball check the mesh it have 17 vertices so to apply the same concept we created a code which create a game object we created first a prefab contains rigid body circle collider and a hinge joint 2d we will use only hinge joint 2D for this example. So we access the mesh and we retrieve the vertices from it. Then we create an instance or inst instantiate the, uh, a game object at each point. Then we go to each hinge joint and we link it with the next one. So we achieve that by code without going manually to each point and 
place the points exactly where they are, this is a better way. Then we got this result. It's something like, also again, a jelly shape. And that's because of the circle collider is too small. If we want to create a, a very nice circle, we need to incri increase the size of the circle collider 2D to not leave much space between the points. But now it gives a nice feeling. Look at this. I added the movement controls to each point to control the velocity of each point. So it feels very nice bouncy game object. So let's try with increased circle collider size. I'll increase it to 0.2 and we will get a nicely curved circle which acts as a nice bouncy ball. So when we created a more complica complicated circle which contains 37 vertices, it broke when we applied the same code. Look at this. We got this weird shape and then it appeared because the points are not ordered as I explained before in the correct order. So to fix this I corrected the points order manually so since we ha don't have experience in 3D pro programs so if you know how to create a shape with linear order for game objects in 3D world in something like Blender, let us know please in the comments. So to fix this problem, I ordered manually the game objects of the points in linear order to form a circle. Then I link the hinge joint to the of each point with the next point. So what we got is the following. We got nice liquid thing effect. This can be used maybe to simulate liquids or to create something weird, weird creature or virus, I don't know, but it feels nice and I wanted to share this experience with you, maybe you can use it in your 2D project or even improve this furthermore, it's just a small experiment by, by us. If you found this project fun and useful, please don't forget to share and subscribe. Of course, we are thankful to our Patreon, till next video, see you soon. Okay everybody, get